The MP34, Maskinen Pistol E34, literally Machine Pistol 34, is a submachine gun, SMG, that was manufactured by Waffenfabrik Steyr and used by the Austrian police and subsequently by units of the German Army and the Waffen SS, in World War II. An exceptionally well made weapon, it was used by some forces well into the 1970s. History The MP34 was based on a design for the MP18 by the Rhine Metal Company based in Dusseldorf. The weapon is similar in design to the MP18 Bergmann, which itself saw service towards the end of World War I. Restrictions on the manufacture of certain armaments within the 1919 Treaty of Versailles forbade Germany from manufacturing certain types of weapons such as light automatic firearms, designated as SMGs with barrels in excess of 4 inches, 102 mm, and magazines holding more than 8 rounds. To circumvent the treaty, Rheinmetall acquired the Swiss company Waffenfabrik Solothurn in 1929 and began secret production of a prototype. What was to become the MP34 was originally designated S1-100 using the company's standard naming convention. Due to the Solothurn company being unsuited for mass production, Rheinmetall took a controlling interest in Waffenfabrik Steyr, an established arms manufacturer in Austria. Weapons manufactured by Steyr were sold via the Zurich-based trade company Steyr Solothurn Waffen AG to both the commercial and military markets. The MP34 was manufactured from the very best materials available and finished to the highest possible standard. It was so well manufactured that it has often been nicknamed the Rolls-Royce of submachine guns. However, its production costs were extremely high as a consequence. Operation The MP34 was a selective fire weapon, single shot or full auto, firing in blowback mode with an open bolt. The return spring was located in the wooden stock and was linked to the bolt via a long push rod, attached via a pivot to the rear of the bolt. Easy access to the bolt and trigger assembly was via a hinged top cover which opened up and forward by depressing two release catches. This makes cleaning procedures very easy to perform. On the left-hand side of the stock was a sliding fire selector switch, marked by letters T and S. Initial production runs of the gun had a Schmeisser-style bolt locking safety, similar to the MP40 in the form of hook-shaped cut which was used to engage the bolt handle when the bolt was cocked which was notoriously unsafe. Later models included a manual safety on the top cover, just in front of the rear sight. This safety could lock the weapon in both a cocked or closed position. 32 or 20 round box magazines were fed in from the left side and the magazine housing was angled slightly forward to improve cartridge feeding to prevent jams. Additionally, the same magazine housing incorporated a magazine refilling feature. An empty magazine could be inserted from underneath and locked in place. From above stripper clips, of 8 rounds each, could be fed into the magazines. All MP34S were equipped with a wooden stock with a semi-pistol grip. The barrel was enclosed into a perforated cooling jacket, and had a bayonet fixing lug on the right hand side. Front, hooded, and rear rifle type sights were fitted the latter marked from 100 to 500 meters. The weapon could be fitted with a detachable bipod for stability. Service In 1930, the Austrian police accepted the S1-100 as the Stair MP30, chambered for then standard Austrian 9x23 Stair pistol rounds. The weapon was also exported to Chile, Bolivia, El Salvador, Uruguay and Venezuela, and was sold in limited numbers to China, in 7.63x25 Mauser caliber. For the South American markets, Stair produced a version of the S1-100 in .45 ACP caliber, this derivation can be identified by an additional pistol grip under the stock. The Austrian army adopted the Stair Solothurn S1-100 as the Stair MP34, chambered for the powerful 9x25 mm Mauser ammunition. With the 1938 Anschluss between Germany and Austria, the German army acquired most of available MP30S and MP34S. A number were then rebarreled to chamber 9x19 nine ammunition and issued to German troops as the MP34, O, oh, Maskinen Pistoli 34 Osterreichisch, literally Machine Pistol 34, Austrian. 
production of the MP3-4 ceased in mid-1940, and manufacturing lines at Stair moved over to the production of the MP40, a much simpler designed weapon and far less expensive to produce than the MP34. As a substitute standard small arm, it had a relatively short combat service once quantities of the MP38 became available, though some MP34S were used by Waffen SS units in the early stages of the war in Poland and France. It was then allocated to line of communications and reserve units including military police and Feld Gendarmerie detachments. In Greece, various police forces under the Ministry of Security, notably the mechanized police, were equipped with the MP34 in 9x25 mm Mauser caliber. Portugal bought in small quantities the .45 ACP version and was adopted as Pistola Metral Hedora 11,43 mm-935. Portugal also purchased small quantities of the S1-107.65 X21 mm Lugger caliber in 1938, and the weapon was adopted as the Pistola Metral Hedora 7,65 mm-938 Steyr submachine gun. In 1941 and 1942, larger numbers of 9mm MP34 guns were delivered to Portugal by Germany. In Portuguese service, the 9mm MP34 was known as the Pistola Metral Hedora 9mm M-942 Steyr. Many M-942 guns carry a Portuguese crest just forward of the safety mechanism in combination with Waffen Amt, WA, markings. The M-942 remained in service with Portuguese army into the 1950s, and was used until the 1970s by paramilitary and security forces in Portugal's overseas African colonies during the Portuguese colonial wars. During the late 1930s, Japan imported a limited number of MP34s for testing and limited issue. Users Austria Bolivia Chile Republic of China used by German-trained NRA divisions Greece used by police and gendarmerie forces El Salvador Ethiopia Nazi Germany Kingdom of Hungary Japan Portugal Sweden Uruguay Venezuela Type submachine gun Place of origin Austria Service history In service 1930-1970s Used by sea users Wars World War II Portuguese Colonial War Production History Designer Louis Stange Designed 1929 Manufacturer Waffen Fabric Stair Produced 1929-1940 Variants S1-100, MP30 Specifications Weight loaded 4.48 kg, 9.9 pounds Unloaded 4.25 kg, 9.4 pounds. Length 850 mm, 33.5 in. Barrel length 200 mm, 7.9 in. Cartridge 9 x 19 mm Lugger Parabellum, 9 x 23 Stair, 9 x 25 Mauser Export. Action Open Bolt Blowback. Rate of Fire 600 Round Slash Min. Muzzle velocity 410 m/s, 1,345 feet/s. Effective firing range 150 to 200 m, 490 to 650 feet, 160 to 220 yards. Feed system 20 or 32 round detachable box magazine. Sights hooded or open topped front, adjustable rear. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.